conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. We've got a news story here about Hurricane Isaac. I believe this storm is now a Category 1 hurricane with a sustained wind of about 80 miles an hour. Um, and I think that this, from the latest information that I have, the storm, the hurricane has just hit Louisiana, just made landfall in uh, a small piece of Louisiana, and but I believe that some of the squalls and winds have been hammering uh, New Orleans, and New Orleans definitely is, is going, in my personal opinion, going to get hit by this hurricane. Uh, this, this is a very serious situation, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what I'm showing you here is an overhead satellite shot of Hurricane Isaac earlier today. And you can see the size and the scope of this storm. I mean, look at the sweep of those clouds as we've got that cyclonic pattern there. And I mean, you, you're seeing clouds, you know, touching all the way from on the left hand side there, Texas, and on the uh, uh, right hand side or the eastern side there, I mean, you're seeing some, maybe, uh, it depends on what those other clouds, I can't exactly if that's part of the sweep or not, but it seems like maybe part of, of Florida, upwards into Georgia, uh, and, and maybe even slightly farther uh, from there. So you can, you can imagine and you can see here the incredible width of this storm. And here's the real danger with this storm in my personal opinion. It's a slow moving storm from what I understand based upon the, the latest news reports. And what that can mean is that if it lingers over land longer, you know, that can dump even more rain. So, you know, you have, and I'm going to show you some shots from Hurricane Katrina. That was a Category 5 hurricane. This is only a Category 1 hurricane, so the wind forces are a lot less. But I believe Hurricane Katrina, maybe I'm wrong, but I believe Hurricane Katrina uh, you know, moved through New Orleans faster. If this storm moves slower, it can dump more rain. And I've seen estimates of anywhere from 12 to 20 inches of rain may hit New Orleans. Now, New Orleans, I believe, is a very low-lying uh, a town, and I think I may be wrong. I have to, and I'll put some information. I'll put a lot of information in the description. So you can check that out. But I believe uh, at least parts of New Orleans are actually below sea level, and they have levees and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, I think that creates, you know, some of the, uh, some some danger there for some uh, New Orleans residents. And I believe a lot of people remember uh, the terrible tragedy of Hurricane Katrina. I'm going to show you some photographs from Hurricane Katrina, like this one here. I think that's what this illustrates and highlights is, you know, the potential danger that a storm like this poses to really anywhere. But look at what Hurricane Katrina did to New Orleans. Here we're seeing obviously some extreme flooding that happened with Hurricane Katrina. You can look at all these homes. I mean, dozens of homes that are at least partially flooded. I mean, that is just, what if that was your home? I mean, that is absolutely just devastating. And it was, it was a, a, an incredible, incredible tragedy. And I'm honestly, in my personal opinion, I, I'm very concerned about New Orleans. Uh, you know, we got hit hard here. In, and of course, the other areas that may be affecting, we'll talk about those too. You know, Mississippi, Alabama, uh, Arkansas, I mean, Texas, anywhere that may be affected by this storm, we're concerned about. I was hit here in Florida. I'll talk about that later. And if you haven't seen some of the uh, uh, live video, the raw video uh, of uh, the, the, the storm, that, which at that point was a tropical storm, tropical storm Isaac, now Hurricane Isaac. Um, you should check that out. I'll put some annotations in this video to, to that live video that I shot on location here in Florida. But now it's a hurricane. You can see again this flooding uh, 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 video here. It, the, the damage that it can do to a house uh, if that if, when, when you're talking about that kind of rain. And one of the news reports that I saw, I believe, it said that anything over like six inches, and you know, you might start looking at some flooding. And again, estimates are aimed from 12 to 20 inches. So I think this is a serious situation. Now, if you look at this photograph here, 
You look at that. I mean, that's a highway. Look at that. That's a highway with the on-ramp and everything like that. I mean, look at how much of that's underwater. And, I mean, just, wow, that is just, that is so devastating. I mean, what if, you know, you, you know, you were caught on that bridge or something like that? That is just, that's scary. That is a scary situation. You think about, you know, how high that water had come up to reach those levels. That's definitely something to think about. This next photograph, I think, puts it in, it, it, again, puts it definitely in perspective. I mean, look at that. Look at the streets flooded there. Look at all those homes that are flooded. I mean, some of them are almost, you know, they're up to the rooftops there almost and stuff. And, and you're just seeing an entire neighborhood there. I mean, that is just, wow, man. That is just, I'm really... Uh, th you know, again, our thoughts and prayers go out to the people that could be affected by this. I, you know, again, this is this is Hurricane Katrina. Now we're talking about Hurricane Isaac, but I mean, you know, if again, maybe less wind force, but it may be more of an issue when it comes to the rain stuff. Here I'm showing you. Uh, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is this is a street a street sign, right? Look how high up. The water is to to that street sign, and I think that puts uh, puts some more perspective in it. Look here, we've got a, a truck who's you know basically jacked up on a tree. So when you're talking about wind and water, you know forces of of this nature and this magnitude, all kinds of damage can happen. There, there's no question about it, and you know I, I, definitely we hope that that. You know, people have evacuated. We hope that everybody stays safe. Um, or, you know, our, our best thoughts go out to, you know, all of the emergency personnel, the first responders, um, you know, Mayor Landrew, uh, Governor Jindal, uh, and all those folks that are the officials that are, uh, uh, in, you know, uh, going to be obviously uh, in charge of, of responding to this kind of situation. And, and we wish them the best of luck and, and everyone stays safe. And also, very importantly, you know, by no means. I mean, obviously, you know, this this storm looks like it's going to hit uh, New Orleans, and and I believe it has hit Louisiana, and therefore, uh, you know, there's, there's you know some some a good bit of the focus, and of course, what happened to uh, with Katrina, with Hurricane Katrina, and then some special vulnerabilities that New Orleans may possess. We focused a number a bit of this report on, it, but by no means at all are we forgetting about any of the other areas uh, that are going to be hit by um, or could be hit by you know Hurricane Isaac and I think you know we, we talked about you know other parts of Florida uh, you know Mississippi Alabama uh, perhaps parts of Texas and then as it moves on I mean we're talking about uh, possibly you know Arkansas Missouri etc Hurricane Katrina and the damage that it did to Gulfport Mississippi look at the just absolute devastation I mean it's unbelievable just buildings completely leveled so, I mean, this is definitely a very, in my personal opinion, a very, very serious situation. And we hope that everybody stays safe. And we hope the damage is, is minimal. And, you know, we're going to be monitoring this very closely and have continued reports on it. No question about it. Again, I want to reiterate that we hope that everybody stays safe. Anybody that might be possibly affected by this storm. And our thoughts and prayers go out to all of you and your families and loved ones, no question about it. And, you know, again, we, we give our, our best wishes to also to all the first responders out there, uh, Mayor Landrew of Louisiana, Governor Bobby Jindal, and, and all the governors and various officials of the various states, uh, you know, uh, and, and cities and anywhere that may be affected by this. This is a serious situation. I myself have experienced, the you know, the power of, of uh, this storm in some part when it was a tropical storm and it hit Florida here it hit South Florida and I have a number of videos uh, I'll put those in the description and I think we'll also link to those in annotations in this video where you can see the live footage the raw video that I shot out there and it, it, it was just incredible I mean seeing you know the lightning the thunder the flooding the rain and it came over and over I mean the rain it's been raining so much and I mean you know that's really the thing uh, that I really have, you know, walked in on and appreciate is is just the flooding, the, the the damage that the water can do. I mean, unless you see it for yourself and experience it, in my personal opinion, it may be hard to understand. 
there was a tree knocked down and everything like that and and I saw you know uh, this little body of water and it was so much lower and then, then you know the next day it was much much higher and, we, and there was some video on that but I remember just trying to literally drive to the store and that was an adventure in and of itself I mean you know there was a good bit of the parking lot that was flooded out uh, there was water everywhere. I believe that there were there were there were uh, there was a, a place you know, like Vero Beach that got hit by a tornado and homes were, were, were taken out. There was uh, other places I believe that 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 homes were were uh, damaged or affected by flooding. You know, significant. I mean, so th this is a very serious situation. And again, this was when it was a tropical storm, and there was like you know bunch of lightning strikes and stuff like that I mean there's this all you know tornado watch all kinds of stuff going on now you have New Orleans Louisiana you've got this storm that is now hurricane hurricane Isaac uh, if this storm hangs out there I, I'm, I'm concerned I'm quite concerned for for New, New Orleans and, and and the other areas that may be affected by this because in my personal opinion this storm if it hangs out there and just dumps rain on New Orleans you know I, I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen so I wanted to, you know, I think, look, it's one thing to hear me talk about. If you see my videos, then you'll see it. And again, I'm concerned that what may happen in New Orleans, Louisiana, other parts of Louisiana, and maybe other parts, you know, Mississippi and others, may be worse than what I was able to see and capture around here in, in South Florida. So not to minimize anything that happened here in South Florida because that was very, very devastating too. So again, we hope that everybody stays safe for conservative new media. I'm John D. Villarreal. You can give us the comments below. Please subscribe above. If you enjoyed this video, please rate this video up. Also, please post this to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. And again, our thoughts and prayers go out to anyone affected by this storm. Please stay safe. We'll see you next time.